Hey guys, welcome back to Meal Prep Monday. Today I am making Southwest stuffed red peppers. I'm Kristen, sister number two, and welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Now, in case you didn't know, every Monday I'm sharing my meal prep ideas so you can eat healthier throughout the week. So today I'm sharing my Southwest stuffed red peppers. Now, if you have never tried stuffed red peppers, don't let it scare you. I actually don't really like red peppers when they're raw, but when they're cooked and when they're filled with the stuff that I'm filling them with, they are so good. Now before I get into it, be sure that you have subscribed to our channel and especially to push that little bell so you'll get the notifications every time we post to YouTube. I would love to hear if you like my meal prep, so give me a comment below telling me that you like it, that you want to see more of it. That would be so helpful for me. All right, let's go make these stuffed red peppers so you'll actually see just how good they really are. All right, so I'm using lean ground turkey. You can use ground beef if you would like. And then about one tablespoon of taco seasoning. Then I'm going to brown that up. The best thing that I love using is something called a chopster. It is awesome when you're making ground beef or ground turkey. You're gonna start off with two peppers. I like using any kind of pepper except green. But green is not my favorite. Now I like to cut my peppers in half instead of cutting just the tops off and filling them up because I can actually get more filling in the red peppers when I cut them in half. Next, I'm gonna take off the little top. If it doesn't rip off easily, you can cut it out. And then also I'm just gonna de-seed and clean up the edges a little bit so I can put my filling in. When you're all done, you're gonna put them in a pot of boiling hot water for about 10 minutes. Now while those are boiling, my ground turkey is done, so I'm gonna get my filling all ready. So I'm adding one can of rinsed and drained black beans, one can of drained corn. Next you're gonna add about one cup of your favorite salsa. Lately I love this Herdez salsa. I like the mild kind so my kids can eat it too. Then when you're done adding your salsa, you're just going to mix it all together. Now when you're done with your filling, your peppers should be about done boiling in the pot. Now I let my peppers cool for about a minute or two before I stuck them in. So yes, they are still steaming, but they're not too hot. Now I'm just going to fill them up with my filling. Now these don't have to be pretty. I am overfilling mine just because I love the middle part of it. Now you're probably thinking that is a lot of filling for just these four peppers and it actually is. You only need about half of the filling, but sometimes it's hard to do half a can of things when I'm cooking. So I suggest taking the rest of your filling, putting it in a freezer bag and sticking it in your freezer. It will last about three months. So when you want to make these peppers again, your filling is already done. All you have to do is cook the peppers. Next, I'm just gonna put cheese right on top so when I put it in my microwave, the cheese will melt. So I love to put toppings on these. So in this little container is one tablespoon of sour cream. I love using these plastic little containers so when it's time to cook my food, I can actually pull them out, microwave, and then add my toppings. And then in the other container is some fresh salsa I love adding that on top too. All right, your meal prep is done for the week. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, now would be a good time to do that. Thanks guys, have a good week and happy eating.